I thought I'd have an easy day, but it's not really easy. This is the flower park up above Mirin. You know, this whole mountain top has been left to, for the flowers to bloom. And well, I was here on the first day, but I just passed it. Did really go through it. But the whole mountain top, roundabout, everywhere. So, and then it's still got views of like this. I've created a path around it, so. whole mountain top is covered with wildflowers and your vistas like that. There are trails that crisscross the mountains so you can go up, down, here, there and everywhere joining each little little towns, little villages. The Pask flower or the Alp Alpen anemone is kind of rare. It grows a very short time, so it looks like they have. I wonder, oh, is this what it is here? The time, or time of day, or something like that. But when they are finished blooming, this is what happens. I just found out this is willow gentian. When all the summer flowers are gone, they start blooming. So this is kind of like midsummer. Look what I found. This area here is kind of cultivated. So that's the past or Easter flower. This is the willow gentian. And here are the yellow foxglove. Do, how do I know? Because the sign tells me that. Yellow foxglove. So this area is deliberately planted. Wow. This is a Turkin, Turk's cap lily. How do I know? <laughs> the sign tells me that. Turk's cap lily. Turk, I guess the Ottoman Turks turban. Yeah, like it's, it's inverted. So it's called Turk's cap lily. <laughs> Yarrow, I think this is yarrow. Oh, this is common yarrow, yeah. That's how I know it because it's common yarrow. And this is the prize thing that they wanted to. I've seen pictures. Huh. Here it is growing. Globe flower. Superbus. Wow. <laughs> now you know. Okay, th these are common. They are the cranbill flower, cranbill. It's very common. Oh wow, this is a treasure. I've wanted to see these yellow flowers for the longest time. They deliberately planted it here, otherwise you won't see it at all. It's wonderful, thank you. The monk's hood, sorry, this is monk's hood. And that is the end of the Pasch flower. And over here, the yellow foxglove, very poisonous. This is the Turk's cap lily, common yarrow. And the piece de resistance globe flower. Wow.
I just have coffee, had coffee at the hut there. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's just a bun I got from co-op. Hmm. Co-op is just a supermarket chain. And the other one's Migros. I don't see any Mi Migros in the area. Just, just go on. Okay, this is the herbal garden or whatever's left of it. This is the alpine valerian. I guess it's gone to seed. The oregano. We know what oregano is. This is the gentian, great gent yellow gentian. And what's that? I don't know. And here... It's called Eye Bright. You still see some in the wild, which is still good. And this is Annika. Annika, and this is spicy root of this thing. Def Daphnis, whatever Daphnis is. And Banana mint, so we say. St. John's wort. Oh, okay, here we are. Ladies' mantle, I know. St. John's wort. And that's it. From up there, I'm going to head down here for more stuff. I was here two days ago. I took that walk down to the valley and up again to back to Mirren. Today I'm going to take the shortcut, yes. Instead of going that long way, going the shorter way, but not first until I've checked out this whole wildflower mountains to side. I can walk back to Mirin in 30 minutes this way or the other way. So many choices. I don't know. Don't know which way to choose. That's a little inclined there. <laughs> okay, I've decided on this way. Back to Murren. It's half an hour. Not the long one I did two days ago, which follows that path. A short one. I think they say this trail is more flowery. I don't know if you can see them, probably not, but the base jumpers are out already. They, I think they jump a little above Mirin into Stackelberg and then ride the gondola and cable car up again with their gear. I changed my mind. Instead of taking that route, I took I came back up and am taking this one. Back to Mirren. It's a ski chair lift. I guess in the winter time it'll be open for people to ride and up and ski down. So flowery still. Okay, update, update. I'm soon there. I think this will take me to Murin train station. Are we there yet? Yeah, I think so. I think down here is Murin. I stopped for picnic lunch in Murin. This is Murin. I'm heading way down to Gimbalval and probably taking the the chair, cable chair back to Steckelberg and the bus from Steckelberg to now to Brunnen. This base jump is jump from somewhere there. And they land in Sackerberg. 
where I'm heading at the bottom of the valley. And stack of, I'll take the bus back to Walter Brunnen. So they'll ride this chairlift up to here and then walk up some distance with their gear. Willkommen in Gimmerwald. I'm here. <sighs> that was a long 30 minutes. They lied. It's more than that. Gimmerwald is a very small village. Ex extremely small. This is one street through it and that's it. I think at the end there is the the cable car and the and another cable car going up and down. That's the only reason people eventually end up here. It's really pretty. Oh, look at the hawks soaring in the sky up there. So Straight ahead is the uh, there's a cable car which I will take down to the valley at Steckelberg and then the bus back from Steckelberg to Lauterbrunnen. This is it, the Schildbahn, Schildbahn goes up and the other one is the Kimmelwald Steckelberg chairlift goes down, that's the one I'm taking. One comes up, the other one goes down, they meet so you can transfer here. Alright, I'm back in Lachibuna. It's always time for cake and coffee. 